Hello everybody, this is Lois for another video on the Trains channel. And today is another layout update. Hooray! <laughs> um, I've done a fair bit, actually. I've done some track work as well. And a lot of, a lot of stuff has changed a fair bit, mostly around this front bit. <laughs> um, the first thing is I've done some of the brick wall that will be going around the side of the roads and I've actually done the bit on the bridge done that looks nice very nice and um uh, yeah I actually had a problem with one of my Hornby points that one a bit different and I had actually melted some of the solder with that little locomotive so I sent a complaint to Hornby and they sent me a brand new one <laughs> Thank you, Hornby. But, um, yeah, like, they're very nice with helping me with stuff. So, that's the new one, right there. Um, yeah, and you can see, there was a new siding. Yay! Um, yeah, I really wanted to put in another siding. Well, actually, let me start back at the beginning. I wanted to put in a siding here on the station, so I took up that point, so I'm gonna have, like, a track that doesn't go onto the normal track. I'm gonna put my derelict wagons on there. And then I took out the crossover that was here. Because if I can find it, yeah. This lifelike train's point, um, if you look closely it oh wait, wait, let me just Yeah, if you look closely, it aligns there, but doesn't actually perfectly align there. So that would cause all the wagons to derail and everything, so I wanted to get rid of this and this big um point motor well, it isn't really a motor, it's a magnet. But it's really annoying how big it is. And I um the reason why I didn't replace it with a different point is because there is nothing like this. I've never seen any standard Hornby or Pico point just like this. Because like if you look at it with a standard half second radius long curve it's like a one and a half radius compared to a first radius like this one see it's... is it a first radius? I don't know, I can't remember I think it's a second wait, let me just go find a first I, I know I got some first radiuses yeah, that's a first radius I think, yeah that's... yeah, it's really weird, it's like a one and a half radius curve, it's really strange so I couldn't get any points that were like that except for those ones. And what's even more annoying is you have to have the point the point motor on here. Because without it, this would just flow freely. And you could nail that in place if you wanted to, but for a working point you have to have this. That's how annoying it is. Yeah. So um Yeah, I got rid of that. And I had the right hand point here and because I didn't have anything to swap this with, there's no point having just a point that ends. There's just no point to that. So, if I move all this wiring, <laughs> oh, looking at motors and stuff, and this one got really hot. It actually burnt, actually burnt me. But, um, yeah, I was looking at some things, and I put that point, the um, right-hand point, right here, and then made another siding. So now, instead of having, like, the station that goes here, and then have it like, come off the end here and have the car park. I'm gonna have to do a lot more. <laughs> so, well, even from adding this siding, I had to get rid of this the road which came around there. Actually, it went all the way around there. So, I took that bit out. But now it's gonna get even well, even more complicated. So, what I'm gonna have is gonna have a station from here all the way to here, and then have another station, like a second platform, a thinner one, around there, and then around here have the station building and have a footbridge go over or well, I'll just think about that. Actually, yeah, I might have the platform go out around the back. I can do that, yeah. Have it go up and around the back. Yeah. <laughs> and this is actually better than having that platform because that was standard Hornby platform. That. And you can't really modify it to make it look good. So, um, I was going to use the Metcalf platform, but, um, like I was going to use the Metcalf good shed, but, um, then I decided I was going to do foam core, but one station, or, because 
if I was gonna get the Metcalf kit, it's like a single platform is ten feet of of or a, a one, one kit is ten feet of platform that you can make, and that's longer than that. I think I don't know feet. Not my feet. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I wasn't going to get that, I was just going to make my own out of foam core and balsa wood, which will look nice, I reckon. I'll just use, like, brick paper and paint and stuff to make it look good. But, um, yeah, so I was going to do that. Da -da -da -da. And I really think that's about it. <laughs> but you see all the pencil marks where I was um, using this loco. I wasn't, wasn't driving. But um, you just put it on the track and get a lead pencil and put it next to it and then just like drive it around. We either put it in the middle for like these bits and put it like just off the end for the um, outer bits. So, <laughs> but the good thing is I can modify it if I want to. Better than having the plastic ones. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I've been playing around with my Pannier tank. And it's been getting better. It actually has been running better. It's been running quieter, been running smoother. It doesn't have any torque though, so it goes up that and just stops. It doesn't even work too well. So I'm actually saving up some money to buy a new steam loco. I'm hoping to get either a new pannier tank. One sec. I'm hoping to either get a new pannier tank, or I'm just hoping to get um, not one of these again. If I can get two. <laughs> Use that as a shunter for the yard. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna get a steam loco, maybe one with the drive shafts, like the piston rods, like the let's just say something like the mallard, like the big steam locos. But it can be like City of Truro, anything that's longer than that, <laughs> and with a tender, preferably. But um, yeah, I just don't really like this 060 wheel configuration with one joining shaft when I, when I said and that's that's really all I've had because my only steam logos I've ever owned is that one which doesn't have any piston shafts doesn't have any pistons that one um and Thomas and Percy back there Thomas has the exact same configuration as the pannier tank but Percy had the exact same configuration as that one but it actually had pistons um if I can find the wheels Lego! I'm actually working on brake vans. Stuff like that. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, you see... These actually had the... The piston rods. Piston shafts. Ah! Is that annoying? Yeah, they, uh, they actually had the... Piston shafts. So these would go in the little cylinder. The little piston cylinder. And... I... It was... The <laughs> Percy went really fast and... It's actually a really kind of a bad one, so it would derail occasionally because it's going so fast and I couldn't control the speed of it. So um, I disassembled him for that to save my pannier tank. But um, yeah, I finished the crossing. That's one thing I, I didn't mention. I finished the crossing and it looks amazing. <laughs> it actually looks really nice. I'm actually really happy with that. It's cut off and it goes nicely. Like if I grab a car. One of my many cars, Toyota, and I just sit down here. Now, Americans, don't go off of me. I live in Australia. We drive on the left side, like the UK. <laughs> so, yeah, it actually, it's a little bumpy with the center bits because they're a little bigger, but it it works well. So, yeah, and the trains go over it nicely. Come on! Oh, right. I was wondering why it wasn't coupling. Because it's derailed. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, and the other reason why I'm looking for another logo is this one's noisy. It actually is pretty noisy. This one's really quiet. You can actually hear all the carriages. You barely even hear the logo. But that one, you can hear the logo. You don't even hear the carriages. So, uh, yeah. Looking forward to a lot. And, um, I was actually looking at Metcalf's stuff, because my awesome granddad got me this booklet, and the stuff that I'm hoping to get, uh, well I was going to get those two, but I'm not going to get those anymore, I'm going to get the signal box, hopefully, 
Um, what else? See books. Like, if you look up Metcalf on the internet, they actually have a real. They like, have a lot of good stuff, and this is all card and laser cut wood. And you just stick them together, and they, you can modify them as much as you like. So I'm getting the, the signal box, and I'm getting these terrace houses, the brick ones, and I'm getting these. But <laughs> here in Australia, it's like thirty to forty dollars just to get like the um the good shed that I was going to get before. And this is all N gauge stuff. So they do double O and N gauge. So yeah. So uh, one thing that's actually good, like when I'm I had looked on the website and they have dimensions for all of the um all of the buildings and stuff so the terrace houses because I want to get two of them on here which I would just be able to fit on go to about almost halfway the road halfway the road but that'd be all right because I can make it a one-way road which they would usually have in England I think yeah but um I'm still working on a lot of this stuff I have to do all of these before I do bricks on this side but I can do some of the bricks on this side so uh, yeah um, I've been messing around with electronics, like electrics stuff. So I've got all these models, like model cars, model helicopters, controllers and stuff. And uh, I've been pulling everything apart. <laughs> it's it's stuff that I don't use anymore. So don't don't go off me for that. So they got they're going to good use. <laughs> but um yeah, just looking at some uh, you know, stuff and um. To get the steam loco, I have a bunch of stuff down here, which I'm willing to sell, and I'm sadly going to sell my full signal box that I actually recently got and built. So, um, yeah, it's just because it's the wrong era now that I've actually decided what era, but I've got that um, open wagon that I was going to sell, it's in there, and these are Hornby these, and that's a knock tree. Which doesn't even look good for the scale, but I got all those. And then if I go up here, these are the American ones that I'm selling. Just, I'm keeping this one because I like it, and I'm keeping all the Australian stuff, and I'm keeping the stuff from my first ever train set, which was the um, the Tyco um, Burlington Northern train set, which the loco's in pieces, but it, it did work all right. It was a bit. Bit, um, broken. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, by the time the next video, I'll have some bricks done on the back. I'll have the rest of these done, but I'm, set, I'm actually running out of balsa wood. So I think I'm going to get some more of those. And hopefully I have one of the platforms up, at least. But, um, this holidays, I'm hoping to go to some model shops around the place with some money. <laughs> I only have $20 at the moment, so i really got to get a lot more. I've been looking on eBay for locos and stuff. So, um, yep. I'm almost up. I can't go more than 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.